told Evan and her parents that her testimony had moved them to support the bill. Evan Orlick Jetter joins me now from Burlington, Vermont. Evan, welcome to Democracy Now! Thank you. Well, what did it feel like to testify before the state legislature in Vermont? Well, it was just a huge mix of feelings. I mean, I was really nervous being there in front of all those people, and some of them um, didn't support what I had to say, and so that was hard. But I also felt excited because I felt like I was part of something so important to me and to my family and to so many other gay and lesbian couples in Vermont. So it was just a mix of everything, but overall it felt good and it felt like it was really time for me to speak up. So it was important. Can you talk about what it means for your moms to be able to marry each other? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, it means a lot of things. It means that in school, I've always not been able to really connect with my classmates. Their parents all are all married or divorced or anyway, I mean, I always felt separate from them in that way and that I couldn't connect with them because my parents were civil union and they didn't have the right to get married. And I was hurt by that. I was upset about that. But I also felt like I really couldn't talk about it because people didn't know, didn't know what it was like to have parents um, who are civil union. And my parents getting the right to, um, to get married just opens up so much for me. I feel so much more comfortable now to talk to my classmates and my teachers. And I think this will just, there's no boundaries anymore. Hmm. Evan, were you in the state legislature yesterday when the vote went down? Actually, I wasn't. Um, I was in school. And how did you hear that uh, the governor's veto of gay marriage was overridden by Republican and Democratic legislators? Well, um, my mom picked me up. And I went home and she told me and I was just, I was surprised because I, I was really worried that um, we couldn't override the veto. But I was also filled with so much joy because, wow, it really happened. My parents can get married now and we've come together, Republicans and Democrats, to fight for an issue that's really important and I think it felt great to be a part of it and I hope that I made a difference so it was just it was just a really great moment for me well clearly you did make a difference because when legislators were asked about how they perhaps changed their vote or why they decided to vote for gay marriage a number of them talked about you about a 12-year-old girl testifying, talking about what it meant for her moms to marry. So how does it feel to make history, Evren? Well, I think why I made such a difference was because the opposition said that, you know, we're all about the kids. And that just didn't make any sense to me. If you're all about the kids, then why don't you support people who are trying to raise them and have a great family instead of saying that they're not qualified. And I felt it was so important for me to get up there and say what I felt because I don't, I don't think they really knew what they were saying when they put that out. I think it was the lack of information to say it was about the kids. It hurts me that they're so against my parents getting married. And if you think about the kids, then y you should think about hurting the kids whose parents just want equal rights and whose kids just want equal rights and to be feel accepted in their schools with their teachers. So getting up there, saying what I felt, I thought that, that really helped change things. So 
I felt I felt honored that I could help change history. It was it was really a big moment for me. Well, Evan Arlick Jetter, I want to thank you very much for being with us today, for being on this Woe well Global broadcast uh, as uh, we broadcast from Tennessee and talk to you in Vermont. Your voice is being heard all over the world. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. As we continue with this historic broadcast in all sorts of ways, because we're broadcasting from Johnson City, Tennessee. Um, Johnson City, Tennessee from Eastern from East Tennessee State University. Um, we're just down the hall from where Democracy Now! broadcasts every day on the NPR station, uh, WETS, W-E-T-S.